Traveling with kids is it's definitely not easy. The double stroller bus is very heavy. <laughs> Planning, packing, keeping everyone entertained, it's a full-time job. Yeah, we're on the ferry. Hey, so you look, look straight ahead to the city. But amidst the madness, there are those cute moments and the genuinely funny ones that make you remember why you're doing this. <laughs> And when they start to express a real love for their home, for the places we explore together, that's the ultimate reward. Because in the end, it's not just about the places we go, it's about the memories we create along the way. AI tools have come really far over the past year and I find myself using them more and more to help with my video creations. Notice that I say help. I'm not relying on AI to make my whole video from start to finish because number one, I don't think that AI video creation tools are quite there yet. And number two, I honestly love making videos. I really just want AI to help me out with the parts of video making that I don't like to do. So in this video, I'll show you how I use AI to make this little reel or short video that you saw in the beginning of this video. First off, I use AI to help me come up with video ideas. So the reason why I'm making this video is because the sponsor of this video, Motion Array, asked me to highlight their new AI voiceover tool. I'll tell you more about that later on in this video. But to start with, I was really struggling to come up with video ideas. So I turned to ChatGPT. Now I just have the free version of ChatGPT, I don't pay for it, but I use it often to generate and refine my video ideas. So here's the prompt that I input. Please give me creative video ideas to promote a new AI voiceover tool. And here are the results. There were 14 total concepts that ChatGPT came up with, and each one had a working title, a brief overview, and a little summary of what the objective would achieve. And I actually liked a bunch of these ideas. I mean, number eight just sounds really entertaining. I am your father. I am your father. I am your father. I, I am your father. But it was number 13 that resonated the most with me. Because if you didn't know, I have a travel vlogging channel where I use the cameras that I review on this channel to document my trips. And I happen to have a backlog of family vacation videos. Now beyond using ChatGPT to generate ideas, you can also use it to help come up with a whole video production plan. It can tell you frame by frame how to make a video from start to finish, including everything from exactly what kind of footage to film, to the text that should appear on screen, and how to piece the video together sequentially. Now personally, this is the part of video creation that I like to do the most. So I like to do this myself. I'll often just take inspiration from ChatGPT's ideas, but I almost never use them exactly. Now in this case, the idea was enough for me to piece together my own family vacation video idea by making a one minute short that highlights the highs and the lows of family travel. I decided to use clips from a recent family vacation that we had filmed with a GoPro and an iPhone. It happened to be our first vacation as a family of four, because if you didn't know, I had a newborn recently. So it was a pretty special trip. And so I'm pretty glad to be able to encapsulate it in this little video. So I scrubbed through my footage manually in DaVinci Resolve, and I pulled out my favorite moments. Now there are AI video editing tools that can help do this, but in my testing, you know, I honestly just have not been very uh, satisfied with the results. I think it does an okay job, but to me, AI video editing just isn't as good as someone like me who experienced the trip firsthand and has a creative vision. So I know exactly which video clips I wanna highlight and in what order. So I'm not using AI to edit my videos yet. Now, after pulling out my favorite video clips, the next thing I needed was a narrative. Because if you just watch these clips sequentially, they might look cute or funny, but there's nothing binding them together. I really needed a narrative. So I jotted down a quick script off the top of my head. Now, honestly, I think it sounds all right, but it really needed some refinement. So I plugged it into ChatGPT and asked it to refine my script. 
and it ended up turning out an entire script of visual ideas as well. It was a bit over the top, so I took this version that ChatGPT made, and I refined it into my own. This is something I often do with AI content. I like to use it as a base, but I almost always add my own twists so that it doesn't sound too much like AI. Now, once I had the script, I needed someone to read it. Now, oftentimes I'll do the voiceover myself, but I have a newborn baby. And right now, the only time that I'm able to edit my videos and do my voiceovers is at 4.30 in the morning. And the last thing I feel like doing is recording a voiceover at that hour. This is where the sponsor of today's video came in really handy. You might know Motion Array as a membership-based platform with a huge library of video assets, including templates, presets, and plugins. I've been using them for a long time to add a little pizzazz to my videos. But now, Motion Array is treading into the AI space with its new AI voiceover generator. It is really easy to use. You just take text, like my script here, and you paste it into the website. You can even customize the speed and the emotion of the voiceover. But the really fun part is in selecting the voice. There are male and female voices with a variety of styles. Some are fit for ads, and others are best for meditations or documentaries. Here's the voice that I settled on. Traveling with kids is it's definitely not easy. Planning, packing, keeping everyone entertained, it's a full-time job. I don't know about you, but I think it sounds pretty authentic. I don't think that I would have picked this out as an AI-generated voiceover if I heard it for the first time on its own. If you want to try out this new AI voiceover feature, check out the AI voiceover plan if you only want to use that feature. You can also upgrade to the everything plan to get unlimited access to Motion Array's video templates and plugins, plus stock music and videos. Use my link below to check it out. So after I have my voiceover generated, I plug it into my video editing program, DaVinci Resolve. And then I move my clips around to flow with the narration. I keep some of the original audio to illustrate my points and make the final video feel a bit more authentic or genuine. And I also add some background music to add to the mood. And once again, I'll end this video with the final result. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And also, tell me if you're currently using any AI tools to make or edit your videos. And if so, which tools are you finding to be the most helpful? Because I would love to explore some. It's not a good thing. We don't want to stop. Traveling with kids is it's definitely not easy. The double stroller bus is very heavy. <laughs> Planning, packing, keeping everyone entertained. It's a full-time job. But amidst the madness, there are those cute moments and the genuinely funny ones that make you remember why you're doing this. <laughs> and when they start to express a real love for their home, for the places we explore together, that's the ultimate reward. Because in the end, it's not just about the places we go, it's about the memories we create along the way.